Former Daily Show host and comedian Trevor Noah is partnering with Spotify to release his own weekly podcast, and it comes just as Spotify ended its podcast deal with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Here to tell us more is Ali Canal. Ali, um, it's interesting here because it felt like they were sort of pulling back on mm. some of these deals, but yet here's a new one. I think they're trying to be very strategic about the types of deals that they choose to invest in, right? This Trevor Noah podcast deal just announced at Can Lion. Like you said, it's going to be a weekly podcast. There's no name just yet, but it does come after uh, Spotify parted ways with Archwell Audio, which was founded by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle late last week. And then earlier this month, we saw Spotify uh, announce that it would be eliminating two jobs are roughly 2% of its workforce within its podcast division, citing a quote, strategic realignment. And that's where the focus seems to be. Dating back to 2019, we saw Spotify invest $1 billion in podcasts, trying to grab those big names. And that really hurt margins. And that was something that concerned investors down the line. Now we're seeing Spotify being a little more choosy, a little more strategic. We'll see what that means for other types of deals that they have ongoing, but I think for now they want to really focus on not having a ton of content, but the best content possible. And on that point of margins, we did get a new report from Bloomberg this morning that Spotify is planning to launch a premium tier, which will include better audio. It will also include more expanded access to audiobooks. And this is also something that investors have wanted. They wanted to see Spotify raise prices to match some of those competitors. Spotify, though, said that they won't do that until they're ready to. So they've been a little hesitant to hike prices right away. But perhaps this new premium tier, which is reported by Bloomberg, could be the start of that. And that would roll out in international markets first before debuting in October. It's so interesting to me because you're seeing parallel track here from music streaming as video streaming, right? In some mm -hmm. way, Spotify, you know, you think of the earlier days of Netflix when they're just green lighting everything, throwing money right. at everything like the podcast strategy at Spotify. And now Netflix has also been retrenching and adding more tiers, just as we're seeing for Spotify. Anyway, just a little, little mm -hmm. side note. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of TV streaming, though, um, PwC is out with a new forecast today on the television industry. And there are some not so great implications of that uh, forecast. Yeah, so this is something we've been discussing, right? Cord cutting, it's going to continue. And this new PWC uh, report says the amount of homes that subscribe to pay TV packages will drop to just under 50 million by the year 2027. That's a pretty sizable drop compared to the roughly 100 million households that were subscribed to those packages in 2016. And that represents just about 38% of overall households. So less households means less money overall for the U.S. television industry, less money coming from ads. And advertising, as we know, is very important when it comes to profitability. And that's why we're seeing all these streaming platforms, like you were just mentioning, Netflix, one of the many that are rolling out ad-based tiers, because that is going to be the future. And PwC said that for all of these over-the-top streaming platforms, advertising and ad-based subscription plans are going to be the main driver of growth moving forward. So, you know, I think that's the moral of the story here. More ads Ads, less traditional cable packages. It will be a bumpy road ahead as we've seen a lot of these companies struggle on the profitability side, but that seems to be where we're trending right now. Yeah, and at the same time, streaming services will look more like traditional mm -hmm. cable as if you if you subscribe to the ad tier, that is. And, and that's a big question, right? Moving forward, how many subscription plans will the average American consumer want to have? Will they be more choosy? And then will we see more consolidation as a result of that? Yes. Fun stuff to cover for you, Allie. A lot of things going on.